Hi everyone and welcome to this video. In this video I'm going to go through what is electricity and how does it work. Now the reason I want to go through this video is because other ones on YouTube about uh, what is electricity don't seem to be a, don't seem to explain what electricity actually is. They seem to explain how electricity is transmitted. But yeah, I want to explain what electricity actually is and a little bit about how it works. This is what I'm going to cover in this video. What is electricity? Then, as sort of sub-questions if you like, when will electrons flow, which will become clear soon? What is potential difference? What is conductivity? What is resistance? What is current? And then a bit about a special relationship between a couple of those above it. Then a bit about Ohm's law. And then a small amount about how do electrons actually power things. Okay, so we'll get started. So to start with, what is electricity? Okay, so everything around us is made of elements, and each element contains an atom structure, and that atom structure contains electrons. So I don't know if you remember, but there was something in school called the periodic table, and they had different elements in it. So there was aluminium, magnesium, gold, silver, and then it had lots of gases and things. Well, well, everything around us is made of those elements, and each element or an atom in an element contains electrons, and this is, these electrons are to do with electricity. So in certain situations, these electrons from atoms can flow into the next atom or the neighbouring atoms, and therefore an element could lose an electron and another element could gain an electron. And this is how atoms get a charge, an electrical charge. So these electrons carry a tiny amount of charge with them. And this tiny charge can be made, of, made use of to power devices. So basically, atoms have electrons. When electrons move, they carry a charge with them. And this is electricity. Okay, so in what situations do these electrons flow? Okay, so to make electrons flow, or in other words, to get electricity, there must be enough potential difference from one place to another. Yeah, so in other words, there must be some pressure to force electrons out of one atom into the next atom. So when there is enough potential difference, or pressure, the more conductive the path is to the destination, the more electrons will flow. So if you've got force, to force electrons to move and you've got a clear path or an easy path to a destination the more electrons will flow and therefore the more electricity will flow to a certain path I'll go into this in a bit more depth in a minute so if an atom loses its electrons to another atom it becomes ionized and it attracts more electrons and this can have a knock-on effect so if an atom loses its electrons it becomes ionized which means that it's no longer negatively charged, and it attracts a negative charge. So it attracts more electrons. So the electrons can sort of, it, well, it has a knock-on effect. They can push into more atoms, and the current starts flowing, or electrons start flowing. So I mentioned about potential difference or pressure. So let's go into that, and I'll explain exactly what that is. Yeah, potential difference is electrical pressure. It's something which which forces or a pressure on electrons to move into surrounding atoms, basically. So potential difference is a measure of how much something attracts or repels electrons. Yeah. The more something attracts them, the more pressure there is. Um, so this pressure it's called potential difference in electronics, or it can also be called voltage. You'll, you'll probably find that in most modern books it's called voltage, but in older books it's called potential difference. And voltage is measured in volts. So just as an example now, or just to illustrate briefly, the approximate voltage of a car battery is 12 volts, and mains electric is around about 220, 230, 
or up to 250 in the UK. In America, I believe it's about 110 volts. So this is how much electrical pressure there is to force electrons down a, a conductor.